to rub his feet against the mm -hmm. soil. That is where the water eventually began, began to uh, pour out from, from the earth. Now, when she saw this water coming out like this, she began yeah. zam zam, as if that means welcome back you guys are feeling good my name is Sukuna Vikikra so the story of Zamzam water the full story what you need to know about Zamzam water and this will be given to us by Dr. Shabi Ali welcome back to let the Quran speak now we'll be talking about Zamzam so what is the story behind Zamzam what are the virtues what are the benefits why are Muslims so enthused about Zamzam so, Brother Shabir, let's answer this question about Zamzam. You know, tell us the story about Zamzam. You know, what is this water that, you know, Muslims, you know, speak about and talk about? Yeah, well, uh, the Zamzam actually is the name of a well that uh, is situated in Mecca, just, um, uh, just outside the Kaaba, the sacred mosque where Muslims uh, gather for pilgrimage. Uh, the, the story is that uh, this well was actually formed uh, when Ishmael was a baby. We know from the book of Genesis that uh, Abraham uh, took his wife, uh, the, the Bible says the, his concubine Hagar, and uh, her son Ishmael, his son, Abraham's son, uh, and uh, left them in, in a barren uh, desert. Uh, the Bible says that uh, he settled them at uh, Beersheba. Uh, Beersheba in, actually is uh, in Arabic, Be'ar Saba. It's uh, actually seven, uh, a place of seven wells. Uh, in, in, in the Islamic tradition, we have it that uh, at the time, Ishmael was a baby. And uh, when his mother and, uh, and he, Ishmael, were settled in, in a barren uh, region, Abraham was doing this by the command of God. And uh, he uh, w was not fully aware of what would happen as a result of this. She was not quite aware. They didn't know what the plan of God was. We can see now in hindsight that the plan of God was that uh, in that region, a, a, a great world religion will be born and the spiritual light of guidance will shine from there to the rest of the world and people will gather for pilgrimage in the millions from every corner uh, of our globe as we are seeing now. But at the time they didn't know uh, what was the plan of God and it would seem pointless in a way. Here is a barren desert, why are you going to settle a mother and child here where there is no sign of, pro of any uh, means of sustenance. Uh, but uh, they prayed to God, Abraham prayed uh, to God to give provision to his family and to cause the hearts of people to be inclined towards his family. And uh, the, uh, the mother of Ishmael also uh, had confidence in God according to the Muslim tradition. She said that if this is the command of God to leave us here, then certainly he will not leave us to perish. So Abraham left the scene and uh, the mother used up whatever provisions uh, she uh, had uh, with her um, provided by Abraham until eventually she had no food and no water, nor did she have enough uh, milk in her breast to nurse the baby. Uh, so she went up uh, in a nearby mountain uh, or a hillock to uh, look around to see if there is any passing caravan, anyone who might be able to provide some water for her and her child, especially for her child. Uh, but she saw no one. Uh, then she uh, descended and, and went uh, a little distance and uh, ascended another little um, hill to, again, use that as a vantage point. But again, she saw no one and she went back and forth between these two hills seven times, according to the Islamic tradition. These hills uh, still do exist. They're referred to as the mountain Safa and the mountain Marwa. Uh, Muslims uh, in their pilgrimage to this day uh, continue to mimic the efforts of this woman to find water for her baby by climbing up uh, Safa and then coming down, going all the way to Marwa back and forth seven times. And they even run a part of the way to mimic the, the actions uh, of this blessed woman. Uh, but uh, it is uh, noted in the Islamic tradition that as she was going back and forth, eventually she heard a voice and uh, it turned out that this was the angel Gabriel who had descended mm -hmm. onto, onto the scene. And uh, he struck uh, the earth with his wing. And where he struck the earth, the uh, water began to gush forth. Some of the traditions have it that uh, where the baby lay and the baby began to rub his feet against the mm -hmm. soil, that is where the water eventually began, began to uh, pour out from, from the earth. Now, when she saw this water coming out like this, she began to try to gather the water, maybe by pressing the earth around it to, to, to contain it. 
and uh, the, uh, she, she was saying to it, zam zam, as if that means stop, like stop, hold on mm. there. And uh, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is reported to have said that had she not gathered the water like that, this well would have flowed throughout the entire earth. Uh, to this day, that well continues to flow, and Muslim pilgrims from all over the world uh, gather there and drink from that uh, well. Uh, so it, it is remarkable that uh, that ancient well mm. uh, from uh, about 1800 uh, BC uh, still continues to flow with water and it still continues to uh, be a source of uh, spiritual blessing and nourishment for, for the pilgrims in the hot desert region. Okay, so do most Muslims consider that as, you know, their, their holy water or is it, you know, just regular water? Like, we understand that there's a prophetic story behind it, but... Yes, well, because of its um, uh, origins in the life of uh, Abraham and, and Ishmael, who are two prophets of God, mm -hmm. uh, naturally, we, we uh, hold that uh, whole area in high esteem and, and the well itself connected with Ishmael as it, as it is. Uh, but there is also a hadith of the Prophet, peace be upon him, which says that uh, if one drinks from the well of, of Zamzam, then uh, whatever a dua or supplication he or she makes will be fulfilled. Hmm. So typically, uh, Muslims uh, make a simple prayer uh, when they drink from that uh, well, a prayer that is noted to be one of the prayers of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him himself. Allahumma inni asaluka ilman nafi'a wa rizqan wasi'a wa shifa'an min kulli da'a. Uh, oh, oh God, we, I ask you for uh, useful knowledge and uh, uh, ample provisions and a healing from every disease. Hmm. Well, thank you very much for that. You're welcome. We'll be back with the infallibility of prophets. Do they make mistakes or are they perfect? Stay tuned. Wow. This is the first time I'm hearing the full details about Zamzam what I've actually came across the video, a very short video of... Um, is it one minute or two minutes in which the person was demonstrating like he was giving an experiment of the normal water and the zanzan water i said i was going to react to it but i didn't know what actually went on i, I was no chance to do it that it's just occurring to my mind now that i've actually i've actually not reacted to such videos before but i think i've actually reacted to a video in which um they gave some explanation about zanza water among other you know, mighty, mighty things in the Quran and uh, something short. But there's one thing about I love about um, Shabi Ali. He knows, like, I can listen to him all day. He knows how to give explanation for things in which you understand very well. Even a baby can even understand what he's saying. Like, he, he says it in a very comprehensive way. Like, he makes you, you know, comprehend it well. You're able to understand what he's saying well. And, and I really enjoyed it. Like he said, it all started from um, the life of Abraham. He's, he's, he's one of his concubines, you know, Aga, when he came, she gave birth to Ishmael. They recognize it more in the Quran, you know. In the Bible, it was Sarah that they actually recognized more. So Sarah's story that we got to hear more about. But in this aspect, you know, is the concubine, one of Abraham's concubines, you know. After she went through a lot of struggles and all, she she discovered a water like the way I explained it then. She noticed that that water kept on flowing. Like the name Zam Zam, the meaning of Zam means um stop. Like the, so that's where they came about the Zam Zam as name for the water. And it's mind blowing the fact that the water is still flowing up to now. Like wow, I want to know which which country especially is it at? Is it flowing in the Saudi Arabia or around Mecca side? I think I need to do my research on that. But I won't mind if you can tell me the answer. Yes, and I just love the fact that you know he said that one thing, one of the miraculous things that this Zamzam water does is the fact that when you go there to pray your prayers will be answered like it's just like you going to an holy ground to actually pray to god and if you give a special prayer request to god and you drink from that water you know miracles start to happen you know before you know it god answers such prayer speedily well i don't know how many people have tried that and i'm sure that should be true i don't know how true it is but 
I'm sure it, it will be true. It will be true for people to keep going to that place to drink from the water. You can't just go there to just drink for drinking sake. I'm sure before you can go there, you have to be charged spiritually to, you know, to able to pray to God and, you know, hear from Him and receive answers prayer for Him through the drinking of the water amazing amazing i really enjoyed this video guys i don't know about you it gave me more knowledge about the zam zam water muslims to talk about and you know as a christian like i have done to understand more about it thank you so much for watching guys don't forget to smash that subscribe for more like share and comments i'll see you in the next one